stories of close encounters with alien life are part of our culture. Every year in the U.S., there are thousands of reported sightings of UFOs, unidentified flying objects, and some people even claim to have been abducted by aliens. I'm a perfectly normal individual that's had rather extraordinary and odd experiences my entire lifetime. Natural phenomena, or even military activities, can explain most of the UFO incidents, but some still keep people guessing. There's no way that it was balloons, or aircraft, or helicopters, or flares. People actually saw a 9 to 2 mile Minecraft flying after that I made it happen. Skeptics argue that such sightings and close encounters are merely figments of our imagination. Perhaps inspired by science fiction movies and popular culture. You have a dream about an alien. The middle of the night, what does your alien bill look like? Your alien bill looks like my alien, the alien we both saw on television. Although even respected scientists admit that real aliens could have the capability to travel vast distances across the cosmos to this earth, there is no law of physics preventing a civilization, perhaps a million years more advanced than ours, from reaching the planet Earth. Some believe that there is overwhelming evidence that aliens have visited us, possibly on many occasions throughout history, leaving artifacts and messages, ranging from crop circles to the pyramids. I saw some strange objects and strange lights, I saw some things I couldn't explain. They were definitely under intelligent in the world. For those of you who are skeptical, I would ask you about the law. Yes, that's there's some very serious things out there, so that's what really needs some investigation. In 1995, Dr. Lynn Kaitai saw lights she could not explain near her home in the mountains, just north of Phoenix, Arizona. She had her camera with her. I'm really concentrated on that top of the he started to disappear. It didn't budge, it just slowly dimmed, as if once it disappeared, it was still there. And I noticed an alien silence as if time had stopped. It was just extraordinary and very strange. Two years later, on March 19th, 1997, Kai Kai was also among the thousands of witnesses who shared a remarkable experience. I went down to people statewide who were looking up purposely to the sky on a clear, beautiful night to catch a glimpse of the handball comet when this mile to two mile wide triangle craft traversed the entire state. And it really went through the most populated corridor in Arizona. Totally, totally silent. This was a massive parade throughout the state. Some people find it hard to dismiss the Phoenix Lights case because there were so many eyewitnesses. After a brief investigation, the military revealed that the lights were created by flares released from a squadron of aircraft flying in a V formation. Despite this explanation, some people maintain that the lights were otherworldly. Pyrotechnic expert Paul Mann has worked with flares for over 23 years. He believes that staging this event would be incredibly challenging. I think we'd find it very difficult to mistake a flare for Although he won't be launching the flares from a fighter jet, Paul believes that he can explain the difference between flares and the Phoenix lights. There are flares which will go to about 300 feet high. If you have a constant flare, what you'll see is a slight flickering. And you're going to be able to spot that's a flare. Um, the car. So we're going to shimmer red light there, lots of smoke, you can see a smoke trail. They pinpoint the blinds and give it away as a flare and it falls to the ground and it doesn't hover around. So in many way, if we saw the Phoenix lights, just, if it was a pyrotechnic that could last for so long, that's a lot of achievements, and it's getting to hold in the sky, it's something else altogether. Earth, our home planet, the only place in the universe known to support life. Yet could life form from outer space? Or would he have paid us a visit? Or could they even be abducting members of...